Hey guys, Derek here with a kind of a new thing, a Game Explain update, because we just posted this whole discussion on whether this Rayman leak in Smash Brothers Wii U and 3DS is real or not. I said no, I am currently eating some humble pie, <laughs> and I'm just flabbergasted because as soon as we update uploaded that video, video footage of this whole Rayman DLC just came out showing them panning over the character select screen, choosing Rayman, and there he is. Mewtwo's on there, the whole thing shifted. It's a, it's pretty clear and cut that it looks like Rayman is DLC. So, normally we'd have Andre and Ash here once again, but they both have lives and things to do on a Saturday night. Fortunately, I do not. And fortunately, neither does Colin McIsaac from Gamnesia. <laughs> Hello, <everybody. laughs> so I asked him to join me real quick, just so we have... Basically, some reactions to mm -hmm. this being real. So, Colin, what do you think about Rayman being in this? Well, uh, you know, I was actually thinking yesterday what third-party characters would possibly be included in Smash Bros. 5. And Rayman was pretty much the only one I could think of. So I'm actually really shocked that they include him as DLC for Smash 4. Um, as for the leak uh, being real or not, I kind of always consider uh, text leaks to be fake until proven true and image leaks to be true until proven fake, and often they get proven fake pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, as far as Rayman being in this game, you know, I think it's very exciting, if not surprising. Yeah, I'm in the same boat because I I, I love the Rayman games. I've always <laughs> really enjoyed playing his games, but I am just never was sure if he was good Smash Brothers material. But during that discussion with I did with Andre and Ash, I kept thinking about how his moveset would really work for Smash. So I, 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 I'm not surprised. I was unsure right. of it, but I, I'm not surprised that he's real. Right. So for a while, I was thinking uh, that Rayman actually this was this was pretty close to the time of the announcement of Smash Bros. Four. Uh, in like the very early days of speculation, I was kind of thinking that Rayman might be one of the third party newcomers because uh, at the time Rayman Legends was exclusive to Wii U, and uh, you know they seemed to be doing a lot with Nintendo. Uh, and the Rayman property, but then of course, you know, Rayman Legends went multi-plat, Ubisoft started holding off their Wii U games and started whatever, they, they have this new Wii U game that's completely made that they're not even releasing. It's mm -hmm. completely finished. So I kind of I kind of thought Nintendo would sort of back away and say, maybe let's not do Rayman. Um, nope. But, <laughs> you know, I, the, com the company drama doesn't really matter to me. What matters to me is I think that Rayman would be a great character for Smash, and I'm glad to see that um, the third-party characters doesn't necessarily only mean, you know, the top-tier Mega Man, Sonic, Pac-Man. It can also mean sort of characters more like Rayman who really fit into the nintendo e Smash Bros. vibe, but aren't necessarily, uh, you know, the most iconic of the iconic. Yeah, no, I, I, that's a good point, because as we've seen many times with the Nintendo characters, not all these characters are extremely well-known, so... Shulk. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So you get these lesser-known characters. So mm -hmm. it's interesting that they're doing the same thing with a lot of the third parties. Now, the question yeah. is, is this the last of the DLC as far as characters oh. are concerned, or do oh, you think no, we could see more? no way. So I was originally actually thinking that DLC would be restricted to veteran fighters. It would be Mewtwo, uh, it would be Lucas, Wolf, uh, Roy, maybe... Um, I was thinking it would be veteran fighters because, for one reason, uh, that would mean more newcomers available for Smash Bros. 5 to drive up hype, mm -hmm. um, and because veteran fighters are easier to recreate. They already have the movesets done. Uh, really, most of what they need to do is, is balancing work and, and animations. Um, but now that the floodgate has been opened with newcomers, like, you know, we could see anything. Who's to say we can't see crazy stuff anymore? That's very you know, true. You know, the, the hype train can be very much alive. Yes, and that seems to be the case because we got that shop icon as, far, as one of the other pictures that was shown. There's a lot of potential here. So just want to make this quick update. Basically say, I'm kind of excited for it, even though it, wasn't, it wouldn't be my first choice, but this is still a great choice in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Depend, despite any of your feelings on Ubisoft as a company, this is a great character. I think his moveset's going to work very well. And I gotta start training up as him because apparently I gotta fight uh, Ash's Mega Man coming up soon, as soon as he gets out. <laughs> so, so uh, very nice. 
All right, guys, I think that covers it for this update on Rayman and Smash Brothers. He is real from all signs pointing to yes, unless something crazy happens, and this is just a really good fake. But (laughs) thank you guys once again for watching, and thank you, Colin, for joining me on such short notice. absolutely. Anytime, Derek. So uh, go ahead and check out Gamnesia if you want to see more of Colin's stuff. So if you like this video, be sure to like us on Facebook and Twitter at GameXplain, and of course, stay tuned to GameXplain for more on Smash Brothers and other things gaming, too. Until next time, guys. Bye.